Jeremiah chapter 13, and I want to begin, but not end, with the very last verse. It's one of the reasons that Jeremiah is known as the weeping prophet. I've seen your adulteries, your lustfulness, the lewdness of your harlotry, your abominations on the hills and the fields. Woe to you, O Jerusalem! Will you still not be made clean. Now you can, if you read between the lines, almost hear the heart of the Lord as he agonizes over his people, as Jeremiah wonders if they will ever be clean again before the Lord. See, God chose a man like Jeremiah to deliver his message because Jeremiah had great compassion for his own people. He felt great sorrow for the coming judgment. He's known as the weeping prophet. And God uses people as he's made them to be. See, God's amazingly versatile. He's filled with creativity and variety, and so are the people he created. His prophets, he has the strong, he has the tender, he has the compassionate, and he will use the personality and the temperament that he has given you to share. As you share his word, his heart, well, Jeremiah's compassionate, the weeping prophet. He shares the strong word of God's coming and correction but he uses a tender heart. In fact, in the very beginning of the chapter, there's a picture, a parable of a loincloth. Thus the Lord said to me, go and get yourself a linen sash or a loincloth and put it around your waist, but do not put it in the water. So I got a sash according to the word of the Lord, put it around my waist and the word of the Lord came to me a second time. Take the sash that you acquired, which is around your waist, arise, Go to the Euphrates and hide it there in a hole in a rock. Now he would later come back and retrieve the cloth and it would be moldy and unfit for use. It's a picture of Israel, once close to God, but now unusable through disobedience and idolatry. Chapter 13, full of imagery and reality of God's heart and his justice. Now what's our takeaway? God wants to use you just as he did Jeremiah to share his truth, his heart, and will, and he'll use the very unique way that he has shaped and formed your personality and warns us to stay connected and usable in his hands, not spoiled and disqualified by disobedience. God has created us all different. It's kind of like music. You can have all kinds of different music about love. There's rap, there's country, there's, you know, just a myriad of different, and God, takes these different musicians and expresses, well, their personality has been given to them somehow, some way. And it's the same with you and I. Some people can share the truth with you and it's very, man, straight and direct. Some have a tender heart in the way they do it, but the message is the same. God has a message through the weeping prophet Jeremiah. Stay usable. Stay close. Don't disqualify yourself because God is worthy to be served.